We started working on the new album as soon as we'd finished recording for X and Y. And we started writing. Um, we wrote all the way through the tour and then um, after we'd finished touring, we uh, started getting our studio together, which is called The Bakery in London. And uh, after a couple of months, we started working there. We were writing for a long time. I think we chose to have our own studio because we wanted somewhere where we could feel free to experiment. We wanted somewhere where we didn't feel we were on the clock and having to pay lots and lots of money you know, by the hour. Um, we wanted somewhere where we felt comfortable and, and free to just to do whatever we wanted to do and work at all hours of the night or early mornings and also try to get everything done under one roof, like photos and artwork and uh, you know, the clothes and trying to get everything as much as possible done under one roof and it's made a huge difference. When, 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 when you go to a big studio, we, we always feel a strange kind of pressure to do what we've done before. So when you have your own place, you're, you're, you're free to sound bad for most of the day. There's no pressure, you know? Well, I think we felt after our last record, X and Y, which we're very proud of, but we felt like we'd done that sound as much as we could do it. And we don't want people to get tired of our sound, so we have to change it a bit. Well, you know, I think like Will said, we, we felt like after our third record, we could either keep repeating ourselves and try and always be the biggest thing, or we, what we decided was that after three records we had got some freedom to try things that we've always wanted to try. So ev everything on this record we really passionately believe in, you know, but it's the first time that we've been able to feel good about trying things we haven't done before. The privilege of having already done three albums, you know, or I don't know. I don't know, I don't think we ever set out to, I don't believe that we set out to be the biggest band in the world. I think we always, from very early, <laughs> early point in, in, on our, you know, in our band's life, we wanted to, to be the best, not necessarily the biggest. Um, I think sometimes those things, uh, you know, overlap, but I think we've always tried to just be the best that we could. And, you know, there's nothing you can really do about how much, how big you become. People either, people either get what you're doing or they don't. And so... We're definitely the ugliest band in the world. Well, I think, um... We wanted to, to make a record which people couldn't pigeonhole too easily. And, you know, we don't want to be thought of as just being one trick ponies. And, you know, I think we, we all listen to a, a broad range of music and I think this album reflects it more than ever, or more than the last three albums. So it was important to, you know, it was a, it was a basic principle, I think, to, to not use any of the same tricks that we'd used before. Well, no, it's funny. In, in the bakery, we, if, you, if you look carefully around the building, there's pictures of lots of people that we love. And the first one you see is John Lennon, and then you see the Beatles in Hamburg. But then if you go downstairs, you see a picture of Woody Allen, and a picture of Jay-Z, and a picture of Bjork and PJ Harvey, and... My Bloody Valentine. My Bloody Valentine, Michael Jackson. So they're all over the place. So every, Mozart. Mozart, yeah. <laughs> Any time we feel... Um, arrogant. Anytime we think, yeah, we're really good, we just look at those pictures and we think, okay, we, we still got to improve. No, it doesn't happen very often, but <laughs> <laughs> when it does happen, we just look at a picture of Mozart and then we know we still have a long way to go.